Hey, so Craig and Andy here from Utah Abbey, and our travels took us to the south half of the range. Wanted to investigate the snowpack here, so we're out of the Mill Hollow zone. Hey, Andy, tell me what you got set up here, man. So we're on a northeast slope, about 9,700 feet. Got about 60 centimeters of snow here, and we got some setup to be looking at. What we have here is 25 centimeters of new snow on top of all this old, rotten, weak, sugary snow over here. We're going to perform an extended column test on it. Right on. So yeah, you can just see the layering kind of with the bare eye here. We'll let Andy do his thing. We'll put our suspicions into action here and away we go. So, just had failure on that plane and that was an <laughs> ECTP2. So that means we got propagation across our column on the second tap from the wrist. And if we pop that out here, See, we have a really nice planar surface that it can break off on and slide. And some really weak, really weak sugary snow here. That's going to cause us some problems when we put a big load on top of it. So tell me, man, bottom line, cut to the chase. Bottom. What do you think this is going to be looking like with the storm that is slated to roll in on Thursday with stronger winds and denser, heavier snow? So the setup is here. We see it. We're seeing test results in our pits. Once we put a load of snow on top of this, avalanche conditions and danger is going to be on the rise, and we're going to need to be heads up. And of course, everybody know that they can go to utahavalanchecenter.org. Click on Western New Winter for your latest avalanche advisory. And those are issued daily by 7 a.m., usually earlier. <laughs>